hello is uh, today's topic is uh, uh, clostridium uh, difficile uh, it is also known as uh, c difficile or c diff and also known as uh, antibiotic associated uh, uh, colitis you know uh, it's a bacterium uh, that can affect the bowel and cause diarrhea and the infection most commonly affects people who have recently been treated with antibiotics but can spread easily to others. Uh, C. difficile infections are unpleasant, can uh, sometimes cause serious bowel problems, uh, but they can uh, usually be treated with another course of antibiotics. Uh, the symptoms uh, of the C. difficile infection usually develop when you are taking antibiotics or when you are finished taking them uh, within the last few weeks. And the most common symptoms include uh, watery diarrhea, which uh, could be bloody sometimes, uh, painful tummy cramps, uh, feeling sick, uh, signs of dehydration such as um, uh, dry mouth, uh, headaches, and uh, being less often than normal high temperature fever uh, mostly it's above 38 degrees centigrade or 100.4 uh, degree uh, Fahrenheit and loss of appetite or loss of weight and in some cases serious complications can develop uh, such as damage to bowel or severe dehydration which may um, lead to drowsiness confusion or rapid heart rate or fainting sometimes uh, the risk factors include uh, like if uh, you have been treated with broad spectrum antibiotics uh, or several different antibiotics at the same time or those taking long term antibiotics or if you have had to stay in the health care settings like hospitals or nursing homes uh, uh, if your age is over 65 years and have uh, certain underlying conditions like anti-inflammatory uh, inflammatory bowel uh, disease, cancer or kidney diseases. Uh, have a weakened immune system uh, or taking medications uh, called uh, proton pump inhibitors uh, to reduce the amount of stomach acid uh, they reduce uh, have head surgery uh, of a digestive system so many C. difficile uh, infections uh, used to occur in places where many people take antibiotics and are in close contact with each other such as hospitals and um, uh, nursing homes you know uh, now uh, while diagnosing your doctor will take a history of antibiotics used uh, in the past you know and uh, patients taking antibiotics who develop abdominal pain cramps and diarrhea are usually tested for the C. difficile infection uh, however, your doctor do not always wait uh, for the appearance of diarrhea to start testing for C. difficile since uh, in rare uh, instances, you know, that uh, C. difficile can cause the abdominal pain and uh, tenderness without diarrhea, you know. Uh, so your doctor, uh, after performing the physical examination and taking the history, may advise you the few tests, uh, lab tests, you know, uh, and uh, in, uh, you know, and uh, most widely used tests uh, for diagnosing the C. difficile colitis uh, is the test that detects the toxins produced by the C. difficile uh, in a sample of stool. And there are two different toxins, uh, toxin A and toxin B. So both capable of causing the colitis. Uh, accurate tests for both toxins are available. So commercially uh, for use in laboratories, you know. Uh, so after the, uh, the performing of uh, the blood tests, you know, so usually the flexible segmentoscopy and chronoscopy are often necessary to look uh, for the pseudomembranous uh, uh, colitis, you know. So which means that uh, just to look for the pseudomembranes that are characteristic for the of the C. difficile colitis. So these are the most common uh, tests uh, uh, that are performed. Other tests, uh, if uh, needed, you know, like x-rays and imaging scans, like uh, uh, CT scans, uh, may be advised, you know. 
And now the treatment options are, uh, strategies are like uh, stop the antibiotics that are causing the colitis or uh, start an antibiotic likely to be effective against the CD fissile. Okay, uh, having the fissile uh, micro, uh, microbial uh, uh, transplantation, you know. Uh, so these are the few treatment options, you know. And uh, uh, prognosis is very good, you know, if it's uh, diagnosed and uh, treated properly. The prognosis is very good.